Kontakt, Frachter, kommt näher auf 147, mittlere Entfernung. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to fire um, Kontakt, torpedoes Frachter, on the highest realism settings in the Sonic Hunter 3. Mittlere Entfernung. First of all, let's uh, raise a periscope and see what's going on out on the, uh, the surface. Got a few ships here, we're just in the tutorial mission. Um, I'm going to focus on this guy right here. The first stage of firing a torpedo is collecting your data. You need three pieces. You're going to need the um, range of the ship, uh, the angle on bow, which I'll explain later. Um, and you're going to need the speed in order to get a good torpedo solution. What can help in getting all of these uh, correct is identifying what ship you have. And you do that with this identification manual uh, located in the bottom left of your screen. Um, this is quite extensive with the GWX mod and it can take quite a long time to find uh, the correct ship. So if you know what you're looking for that can speed up the process quite a bit. I'll also mention that you should probably have a calculator out um, as we're going to be using the highest uh, realism settings um, so we're not going to be using the stereometric device uh, that's default in the game because the U-boats did not have uh, such a setting in real life. So we've got our ship here, um, I happen to know that this particular ship is, is this one here, um, but in a real situation uh, there are some certain tricks that you can do to help identify what ship you're looking at. Um, focus on small small objects, small details of a ship, don't get overwhelmed. So look at the uh, how the hull flows up or down, um, the size of the funnel, the position of the bridge, uh, which masts you've got here, um, and all of those together you can eventually work out what you're, you're dealing with. Right, so the, um, the first thing we're going to get is the range. Um, and this is quite simple. The formula for using the attack periscope, and the attack periscope is six times magnification here, um, is we're going to get the height of the ship, um, as from the waterline to the highest mast, and that's listed here as mass, so in our case 24 meters. Um, we're going to get that height 24 meters, and we're going to divide that by the amount of ridicules on our uh, periscope site here. So let's do that real quick, we've got 24 and I believe the highest point is the flag so we just pop the middle point at the waterline and that is roughly roughly 4.5 and then we're going to multiply whatever that is by 0 0.22 so let's get started so that's 24 meters and we divide that by 4.5 and multiply that by 0 0.22 so that was 5.3 multiplied by 0 0.22 and that gives us an amount of 1.17 so we go into our torpedo data computer here and we set the range to around 1.1 kilometer next on list is angle on bow and it, what this is is the angle of you from the perspective of the ship so if there was someone standing on the bridge here and he was looking at you what um, angle would you be at and this is probably the most important but the most difficult to get right and there's really no solution to it you've just got to guess um, so I'm going to guess around 110 maybe 120 a good tip for this is looking at um, the different walls of the ship and seeing how they're um, how they're kind of facing you and now speed so speed we're going to use it the attack disc up there. Well, I don't think it's actually called that. But our first step is actually um, recording some time. So just pop your, um, your scope on one end of the ship and start the stopwatch. And we're going to wait for it to get to the other end. Um, but on the, on the topic of angle of, on bow, it really is just a kind of a practice thing. Um, it's very difficult to get right. The best angle on bow uh, position to attack from is, of, of course, 90 degrees, a full broadside shot. If you think of it kind of like hunting. Um, but you've got to position yourself the right way to be able to do that. Right, so we're nearly at the end.
Now this um, this technique for getting speed is just one of many. Um, sometimes it's best just to estimate, just use, especially if you're really close and there's not much time to lose, just estimate the speed and see what you get. Right, so that is uh, 1 minute 15, so if we get this uh, disc up here, we can see we need the length, so the length is uh, 140.5, um, so we use this section up here, 140 there, and we had 1 minute 15, so that's 75 seconds, so if we move this guy to, oh where is it, 75 there, so this ship is going around 3 knots, so we're going to put that in here. This is our speed dial here. 3 knots. There we are. And I'm just going to make a slight adjustment to angle on bow. And at this stage I believe the ship is probably a bit closer. Um, so we've got to adjust that. Yeah, it's now 6, so I'm just going to redo that calculation. Um, that's 24 divided by uh, 6 times 0 0.22, so that's 4 times 0 0.22, which is 0 0.88, so we need to adjust that, there we are, and now we're ready to fire, we've got our solution, um, the draft is 8.8 .8 meters, keep that in mind if you want to use magnetic uh, pistols, I'm going to fire one off as, <coughs> as a impact torpedo, and the second one off as a magnetic torpedo, <coughs> that means that it will go underneath the ship, uh, and break the keel by exploding just under it. So draft is 8.8, I'll put this uh, around 9 to 10. And we'll fire that off as well. <coughs> oh, I apologise, I'm, I'm a little bit ill at the moment. Um, so we're just going to fire the person here, and this is not something you normally can do if you're playing on the highest realism, but I'm doing it for the purposes of this video. And we can see these torpedoes are going along. I believe that one there is our magnetic one, and our impact one is just up here. And this looks like it's going to be a direct hit on the, uh, on the ship. was a dud. So this happens sometimes. It's why it's good to fire multiple torpedoes. It was a direct hit, but it just was a dud. And it did not destroy the ship. This is our second one. Um, let's see how it does. There we go. Exploded just underneath the keel. And this ship is probably going to uh, be going down soon. You can see gaping big hole um, at the bottom. <coughs> Pretty bang on. Some things to consider in a tactical situation. Once you've fired your torpedoes, um, the ship might see it and change its course depending on what kind you use, if it has a bubble trail or not. Um, if not, then as soon as one ship is hit, all the others are going to start moving to evade. They're going to change their course and their speed if they're, um, if they're acting normally. In such a situation where you're firing at multiple ships, it might be worth to fire one um, one set of torpedoes off at one ship at a fast speed and one set at a different ship at a slow speed. Uh, you can see the speed here. Um, so they hit roughly at the same time. You can't really get it exactly, but they'll hit generally at the same time and it won't give the ships time to react, uh, basically. So this is, um, that's, this is a uh, a method of firing your torpedoes without using prior data from maps or anything like that. There are other ways to fire torpedoes of course but this is um, typically how you do it if you're in a position like this where you only have visual contacts.